Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we'll talk about the numerical data set uh, nearest neighbors. Uh, simply, if we have a data set uh, that includes uh, numerical values or uh, real values, etc., can we identify which records are nearest uh, the selected record? And this is very important for the people who are digging down, digging into the data and trying to understand exactly what's happening with the data set they have. Let me directly show you how we're gonna do this. It's very simple. So we're gonna uh, get the um, file, and from file we're gonna select Iris dataset. But you can select whatever dataset you 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 have. Um, we can keep the Iris as a feature, Iris class as a feature, or uh, as a target if you want. Let's apply. And <clears throat> as you know, if we just uh, go into data table, we will see all you know all the data as you can see here. So the question. Can we, for example, select the nearest uh, records for uh, this record or the near, nearest instances for uh, this selected instance? The, uh, the answer is absolutely yes. We can do this. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this one to a neighbor, neighbors, okay? And I'm going to select uh, data to uh, reference, okay? And I'm going to select the data to data here. So data. To data okay and the record you will select from here we will show it in this widget which is data table again okay so neighbors to data okay so uh, to show you exactly how this works um, first let's open this one here I'm gonna minimize it a little bit we're gonna drag it here and we're gonna open also this one okay so when I select one, it should show us the nearest neighbor. So I'm gonna op open that dialog again, this one. So we have two dialogs, one for this data set, uh, data table, one for this one, and one for this one. So when I click into any record, for example, this record, as you can see, it changed. So the nearest records for this one, or the nearest instances for this one is uh, these records which are 10 instances 10 instances and per each instance it show you the uh, exact distance so for example so uh, uh, this is 4.6 3.4 1.4 and 3, 0.3 and as you can see these are the nearest uh, to this record these are the nearest to this record if we select another one for example we take this one for example you will see all the nearest okay records or the instances for this one for this one this indeed helps the data uh, analysts and who are digging into the data to understand which records are near this record maybe uh, this record represents for example a drug uh, or whatever in real life so we would see or we would like to see all the records near this record so we can for example identify a solution for this problem Okay, so this is uh, exactly what's happening. It's a straightforward. Okay, so you can select any of these records and it will change based on the selected records. So this is uh, exactly what is what is what's happening. So on neighbors, you can also limit the number of neighbors. This is important. So you can have it, for example, instead of 10, for example, the nearest uh, three records, for example. So when we select one of these records, so we will show the uh, three records the nearest three records okay and also there are distance metrics you can choose from uh, any of these uh, distance uh, metrics here uh, any of these algorithms you can use so you can identify the, um, uh, the distance between all these neighbors so this is uh, about the neighbors it's uh, an important uh, widget that you can use to analyze your data and see exactly what's happening with your data set. So this is the lesson for today. I hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you in uh, our next lesson. Bye.